Yes, Sam from the team Overthrow Reboot here. So, I did a thing. <laughs> so, Just to show off the top eight real quick. Uh, we came third. <laughs> so, we came third with Dimension Dragons. So, it probably won't be a very quick video. So, get some popcorn and enjoy. So, I played Dimension Dragons. Obviously, Dragon World flag, that can now get out of the way. Uh, buddy, hands down is the best card in the deck. So whenever it leaves the field and goes to drop zone, you can discard Dimension Dragon, look at top four cards, add two of them to hand, two of the rest go to gauge. It's just bonkers. So I play four of it. I, I, I don't see why you wouldn't play four of it. It's hands down the best monster in the deck. Ryan McDonald. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, um... So we'll go down in size order. So three size threes, which is Ur. So this is quite good for early game. Uh, it can proc off your Agonia by calling on top of it and then just become a beater. So on attack, it looks at top three and you add one to hand, the rest go either top or bottom of deck in any order. Did not know it went to top of deck. Me neither. <laughs> so. I, I found it out uh, round five because <laughs> Same, I, I, actually. <laughs> I did top three, and it was like there was a card that I also wanted, and I was going to do restand with item to the attack again. So I put the other two on top of the deck so that I could add the other card that I wanted. Uh, yeah, quite self explanatory. So it has a quite a good combo with the item that we play, which you'll see later on. So next is Limargia. Um, so uh... this card is kind of garbage, but it's very useful when you dimension revive it and have triple attack on Lost World. So, yeah, that's pretty much the reason it's here. It's a discard target for Agonia. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I used it. And it will probably get cut down to one at the end of this video. Because we have other things we want to add in. And I'm assuming it will then become a zero of as soon as Body Lineage drops. Uh, very, very probably. Yeah. So, next we've got the one size two we play. Which is a pill a a plistos. A plistos. So pay a gauge, uh, when it enters, look at top three, uh, add one Dimension Dragon Monster or Lost World to hand, the rest go to drop. Uh, it filters through your deck, it's really good. Um, other people seem to hate it. We're not going to we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> um, it's just, it's just the, the, the problem with hitting no targets yeah, and there being guess, three, three like guess. very, very decent cards. So, for example, I got two end battle phases and uh, a desuction and had to put all of them in drop zone and you have no idea how much that hurt my feelings. It's fine. Um, so, next we play one size one, which is... Chromata. Chromata. It's really hard to read these names upside down, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh, so when it enters, if you have a dimension dragon on, uh, if you have another dimension dragon on field, you draw one. Um, relatively simple. It adds your consistency engine. Um, I, I don't see anything else. So this is best boy. Oh yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Diguan, I want to say. Again. I'd say I'd say to gain, but to gain. yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, so counter act during attacking your opponent's turn. Uh, if you have another dimension dragon on your field, call this card from hand and change the target to this card. This one. Uh, and then during your opponent's turn, if when this card is destroyed, if you have another dimension dragon on field, you draw one. Um, it's great. It stops penetrate. It so, draws a card. Yeah. It replaces itself. I don't have anything bad to say about it. So next is three Earl. Earl. I can feel Amy, the, the, the ghost <laughs> of Amy sitting behind me right now going, Carl! <laughs> so uh, when it enters, uh, if you have another Dimension Dragon on field, you gain a, light, uh, gain a life and a gauge. And if you're on Lost World, you get to draw a card. Um, it's good. Um, it goes... It's, it gets you that gauge for Lost World. Um, it's gets you life to survive. Yeah. Um, so next up is two Ido. Audio? Audio. Ido. Same thing. <laughs> I don't read names. You barely, names. You, you barely read their, cards. I don't read names. So uh, Audio is counter. Uh, you, may just, you may destroy another Dimension Dragon on your field. 
uh, pay to life, and if you do, choose a card from your deck, drop it to drop zone, shuffle your deck, put that card on top of deck. So it's hands down the best way to get Lost World because you guarantee the the like you guarantee it if you sack off something else, then draw it with uh, Chromata. It's... Can I talk about the amount of people that wanted to shuffle my deck after I resolved this effect? Um, it, it... Surprisingly, no one wanted to do that because. <laughs> You were I, must, I must have explained the effect properly. Some 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 people didn't go on two and then get matched against morons for the next three <laughs> rounds solid. It was like, a, oh, so I, I shuffle after the effect resolves. I was like, no, you shuffle during the effect, yeah. and then I put the card on the top of the deck. That's why it's good. Yeah, um, it gets you Lost World. It's great. I don't have anything else to Did say. Did you ever do it during your opponent's turn? Yeah, I, I sacked stuff in centre to stop penetrate. Mm -hmm. I sacked... Uh, and then I can draw the card off of this this guy. Yeah. It didn't matter at that point, but yeah. Uh, so lastly, the card that everybody had to read. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. so much, so um, much. Oles Oleski? Oleski, yeah, let's yeah, go with we'll that. Go with that. Uh, so, at the start of either player's battle phase, or attack phase, that's how they phrased it, you put the top card of the deck into gauge and you gain a life. So simple, so much hatred from me to begin with, until I started to play the deck, and then realised, what if I use all my gauge, and then want to go into Lost World? What if I'm playing this against fixes God that problem. What if I'm playing against God Punks? So you have a size 3 and 2 of this, so you gain 2 gauge and 2 life at the start of every attack phase. So that was the monsters. Um, they're all relatively self-explanatory. I, um, I would say so. Yeah. I'm gonna lean real quick because <laughs> my ar my arm is getting sore. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with the deck is it's missing a lot of, a lot of stuff from hundred gem pack or what it's going to be in English is bloody lineage. Um, Decoding is the best card ever. Don't at me. So. Spells, these are going to be fairly quick to explain. So, desuction, four of. Every um, time. Every time. Every time. It gets me. Uh, destroy the dimension dragon on your field. I would like to point out, I never did it, but I can sack the item if you need it. I did that. I never. I, did I, it, I never needed it, to be fair. I only did it once. I did it, um, I did it because I had the lost feather gun in hand. Ah, uh, fair. So... Kenner, you gain one life and draw two cards. You only cast it once per turn. It's so good. It procs your agonia. So essentially, somebody asked me, at the end of this, we're going to have, I've got questions that I'm going to answer. So, hands down, these are the two cards you want to see turn one. Because one procs the other. Mm. And it's just so good. It's just value town. Because... The amount of times I did it with no Dimension Dragon in hand and the draw two gave me a Dimension Dragon to sack. Fair. Yeah. Uh, so next up is how you stop yourself dying. De-altercation. So the, the ultimate end of turn hand would have been two and one. Yeah. Because you're going to go attack, no. attack, no. end of battle phase. Yeah. Um, and you get also two draws in that, which just becomes even more nutty. So, uh, you only cast if you have Dimension Dragon on your field. Um, nullify the attack. Then if an opponent's cards have attacked three or more times, you can end the battle phase. It's... So many times against like Dragon. It's, it's, it's good. Um, yeah. Like, even in Lost, I've noticed, it's still good. Yeah, like it's useful because they're all Dimension Dragons. Yeah. Uh, so next up we've got the Scapegoat. Um, oh, that foil is f***ing <laughs> uh, So destroy any number of Dimension Dragon monsters on your field. You gain one life and draw a card for each of those that you destroyed. So if you sack three, you gain three life, draw three cards, which can in turn proc Gonia, can get rid of get rid of useless things that you've already used, like audio, draw your card from top of deck. It's just, the amount of usefulness is, like, it's there. Yeah. It, it, hand, it, it didn't win me games, but it got me to my consistency engine that just kept on drawing and drawing and drawing, eventually getting to Lost World. Uh, so, Lost of D, 
Uh, essentially for if I get a Lost World flag in drop zone and have no way of getting it back in any other way, it's there. It also adds any Dimension Dragon monster from drop zone to hand, I which that, is just useful for in general, because if you want to get an Agonia back, you want to get a Redirector back to hand. I did it with Arrow. I had Arrow and drop and I did it back when I was in Lost World to get the Gage Life and draw, yeah. So... Blue Dragon Shield. Yeah, it's the best card. Uh, you might be surprised to see it, but the reason behind it was it stops the Matt FTK because they, if you have this in your hand, you can stop the attack and then, then they can't do the, the, the stupid 5 damage impact. Um, the whole reason, the whole deck was in turn built to kind of play against Matt FTK. Or stop the FTK so that you could try and win after that. Yeah. So that's why the Blue Dragon Shield's there. So, hands down, one of the best cards yep. in the deck, which is Machining Sacrifice. So you you pay its cost, which is put a monster from field into drop zone. And then counter call a size 3 or greater from drop zone by paying its call cost. Right. This is a card. <laughs> so, the one thing we never mentioned is you can only call Agonia once per turn. But that's once per either player's turn. Yep. So, there was one... I was One game I was playing where I resolved three of this in three turns. Because of this card. So, I had, had it on board your opponent's turn, if I'm guessing correctly. Yeah. They swung that, into it. No. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it just died. Yeah. Um, it did its thing. And it came back. Uh, and yeah, that was all because Machine Sacrifice is a card. It... Like no, nobody like when you said to me, I've put some spicy text in this deck. Like the weekend of, like the weekend before, <laughs> I was like, "What the hangs they put in?" Like, so I saw a card that you will see in a minute, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." And then he played that, and I went, "I genuinely forgot that card existed because it's chaos." Yeah, um, like. Quite a lot of people didn't. Like a lot of people expected it once they knew what was happening, but like, all the players who hadn't really seen Dimension Dragons, which to be fair was quite a majority of the player base, as we found out. Like Dimension Dragons is arguably the most fun I've had in a long time with Buddy Fight, and like there's questions later that I'll answer where that comes up. So then the last spell is a gambit. So stupid. Um, so dumb. So the amount of games where I resolved this, resolved this, and then resolved Arl, and then gambit them all back to hand. And did it. And did it again. And yeah, it like it won me games because I could add them. I could just do loads of things again, mm -hmm. and it made it really useful to have as a card. Um, so, lastly, we've got uh, Pew Pew Gun. The gun. The ve the... Um, so, pay a life to equip. Counter during your attack phase. Choose an Adventure Dragon monster in your field. Rest this card, stand the chosen card, and you draw one. So, when you go turn one, the ideal start is when you attack, you have this on field to attack. Look at top three, restand it, and then you get to draw one. So, you essentially go plus two off of attacking is brilliant and I don't see a downside and as previously discussed you can suck it with desuction yeah uh, so obviously the whole focus of the deck is to use this boy lost the world though um <laughs> I, I know this is off topic but I just want to discuss the fact that uh, our good friend Robert <laughs> managed to get the whole event to shout Lost the world though at the start of the event round one and it was generally one of the funniest things I've ever seen happen at any card game event ever. Um the I assume the, the card doesn't need an explanation. It's your win condition. <laughs> it's, yeah, like <laughs> the other decks like Matt FDK, Electro D, you can survive without going to Lost World. This this deck can't. No. Um so we'll go through, I guess, the lost deck first. Oh god, this is when it's gonna hurt my feelings, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh so uh Big Boy. 
prefix to this. This is my fault. <laughs> yeah. This is my fault, and I take full responsibility <laughs> for what I did. Uh, big boy. Uh, so let's read its name because I can't tell you what it is. Vile demonic dragon, vanity hus destroyer. That was my first guess. <laughs> uh, so what it does is when this card, uh, when this card is on field, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If it is on field, your opponent cannot gain life, which is surprisingly clutch when you think about it because you, if you set them down to such low life that they just they can't then regain said life, they're stuck in like a kind of ever ending loop where they're just going to get burnt to death by some spells in the deck now remember your opponent cannot gain life i would like to specify <laughs> that your opponent cannot gain life so it's <laughs> his last effect is dimension drawer origin origin yeah when this card attacks put a card from your opponent's field into the drop zone um yeah it has double attack it is essentially the big boy and the win condition of the deck and hands down should be played at four if you can get four also, can I just emphasize? I love emphasizing card effects because I have to, I've had to do it so much over the weekend, and I'm still angry about it a little bit. It is put a card, not destroy a card. You right. So trial deck vanity husk. Um, so uh, demonic dragon release vanity husk destroyer. So Sam, what does it do again? It returns a monster to hand, or returns a card to hand, or destroys said card. Because <laughs> Sam doesn't read cards ever, he just assumes the best. Um, he can't be destroyed again, it has double attack, 3 crit. Um, yeah. Um, big boy. Big boy. Two, point 0.5. Big boy point 0.5. Big boy less. Uh, so, arrogant delusion. Um, oh, if you could not be destroyed, you would be such oh, a good so card. Good. Um, so, when this card attacks, draw a card. It has triple attack. And a restand. Yeah. The draw five combo is bonkers. So, it's a dimension dragon, so... Hello, gun. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Resty, draw smashy. Yeah, I did. So, um, that's it for the monster lineup. Um... There's other cards that might have ended up in here. Um, had I tested a bit more, had I not just used Vanity as a pure beat stick. But hey, it worked. What, um, out of curiosity, what other Lost World monsters would have ended up in? Or are we saving that for the question portion of the uh, video? We will add that at the end. Okay. We will get said cards out so they are prepared. Oh, you've actually got a pile. Oh, now I'm interested. Ah, right, okay. That one makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, move on to the spells. So, Dimension Absorb. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier, where you cannot, you're, with Vanity Hush, your opponent can't gain life. Uh, so, this is just a burn 2 on a nullify attack burn 2, you heal 2. Um, they, uh, uh, like, they just can't get out of it. I call it Dimension Plunder, because it is literally Brozus' ability yeah. as a nullify, which is hilarious. Um, so, four of uh, Dimension Revive. <coughs> nightmare. Yeah, it's Nightmare in my head. <laughs> I call it Nightmare. I'm starting to call it Nightmare as well. It's just a Nightmare. <laughs> it's a Nightmare for your opponent. Um, Jesus Christ. So, the main targets for these are these two. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what it does is call a monster from drop zone by paying its call cost. Neither of these have a call cost. Um... So that monster then gets two plus two crit for the rest of turn. So this becomes a four crit triple attacker. Five crit double attacker. And five crit double attacker that drops. Um, so this is the card that we call Limargia off of. Just on the off chance, because obviously it then becomes a four crit triple attacker as well, because in Lost World you get triple attack. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And it also has the whole uh, ditch your two soul cards to destroy. Yeah. Um, yeah, relatively self-explanatory when you realise the card. That's Monster Reborn. Yeah, uh, Dimension Draw. Uh, so, draw three, discard two. It's essentially Graceful Charity for Lost World. Um, yeah, it filters yeah. through your Lost World deck, adds yeah. you more cards in hand. Gets rid of janky stuff you've still got over from Dimension Dragons. Yeah, gets you away from your stuff from the main deck. Oh, god damn it! Uh, dimension jamming. Uh, Kenner, your opponent discards two of cards from hand. 
You can only play it once per turn. Um, there was games I there was a game I actually won because I dimension jamming them. Let's see, and they had no cards in hand, so they couldn't resolve anything. It was Garga. They require things in hand. Yeah. Um, mine was Battle Building. They also require things in hand. Yeah. Uh, so next is Vanity Cells. Oh, it's so pretty for you. Uh, counter choose and use one of the following two. During an attack on your opponent's turn, nullify that attack. Um, I think I used it for that. Um, I used it for that more than I used the impact effect. Yeah, to be same to be fair. So second effect is uh, for this turn, you cannot be dealt damage from impacts. The one time I used the impact effect, that stupid swordsman thing, <laughs> which whose name escapes me at this point, summon a goddess of panic, Godspeed of Pinnacle. Lie. That one. Um, one live stream. Shiny, uh, shiny. Gain 10 life is pretty good. Um, Did your you opponent... reset your opponent's life at any point? No. Me neither. <laughs> uh, although there would have been games where it would have been useful if I managed, managed to get into a Lost World. Um, not quicker, but if I didn't die quicker. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one Dimension Mirror. Um, it's there as a kind of spicy one. <laughs> Uh, it burns your opponent, uh, like it nullifies the attack and then burns your opponent equal to the critical. So if they attack with, I'd say, a five crit husk, no. burn for five. Um, there's not really a response to that. I had a hilarious link attack for seven crit that I did Dimension Mirror against. It was genuinely one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen. Tim just go, I, I take seven? What's that? <laughs> Rot roll. Uh, so, big boy gun. We like this gun. Uh, so it has built in double attack. When it attacks, your opponent discards a card and you draw a card. I forgot about the thing, but. How? <laughs> Just I was like, oh, this is dumb. Like, he, dropped, he drops cards. This is stupid. And then uh, I think it was maybe that weekend that you were testing Spicy Text. Ryan was like, you do realize you draw a card off that as well, right? And I went, what? I was like, nah, surely no. Read it and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so it's a 10,000 10, power 2 crit double attacker that makes your opponent discard cards and you gain cards. Plus. In, in combo with dimension jamming, it's bonkers. It's plus. Uh, then it's big boy impact. So we'll pay 3 gauge, deal 10 damage. You have to have 2 Lost Vader on fields. That's not very hard when you think about this is a Lost Vader. All the monsters are Lost Vader. All the monsters are Lost Vader and you turbo into said monsters because you're playing dimension dragons and that is the whole purpose of the deck which is to turbo into Lost World. Yeah. So we'll leave them aside and then so what we'll do is I'll go through the side deck and then I'll run through matchups quickly and then I'll run through some questions. So uh, 23 minutes and 20, 3 seconds. 23 minutes. Hey this is going to be long. Yeah. Uh, loyalty uh, skill binder, yeah. Drago Trap, but Blue Dragon Shield and Killer Order. I will shove them out and then I'll explain what they're there for. Um, loyalty's broken. Uh, so I played against Folktail Four? pretty much half of my matches. Folktail cannot do anything if they cannot call. So loyalty. So did um, you use that during their during your turn so that they then couldn't do the book? Uh, no. No. They never had enough soul for book because drop it from vanity. <laughs> um, it's pretty much there for uh, it was there for folk. It was there for uh, Garga. It was there for the mirror. It was there for Matt, I guess, kind of in a sense. It was there for pretty much every deck in the format. It was there for Astro Dragons, Link Dragon Order. Um, it Bob won me almost extent. every single game that it went in because I saw it and I played it and they went, oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, assume, I assume this is the next card that's going to get hit because it stops so many decks from actually playing the game. So next is Skillbinder. Pay a gauge, counter, rest a card on your opponent's field with either Penetrate or Double Attack. Susan. Uh, yeah. Um, it was there for resting Vanities, resting uh, Gargas, resting stuff for Folktale. 
Susan. Susan, Electro DE, uh, Susan O for those that don't know that it's called Susan. Don't know that it's called Susan, yeah. Uncultured swine. <laughs> uh, trashy card that shouldn't be in the sideboard, but I don't have anything better. Uh, by uh, Blue Dragon Shield, probably one of these should have been the fourth Blue Dragon Shield. Um, uh, Blue Dragon Shield, again, it was there for the mat matchup where I could play it first turn without having to require anything on field. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain it anymore because I explained it earlier. Uh, killer Order. So, pay a life, counter. Choose and use one of the following two. Put the top cards of your deck into your gauge. Top two. Let me read it properly, not upside down. Put the top two cards of your deck into gauge. Then, if your opponent has two or more cards in their gauge more than yours, put the top two cards of your deck into gauge. Um, it was there for the God Punk Mirror Match. Uh, mirror match? God Punk Match. Um, luckily enough, spoiler alert, I never saw it all day and that made me happy. So uh, That's not. Like, that's the whole reason it was there. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll go through matchups and I'll kind of show the card that won me most games for that. So, Link Dragon Order was loyalty because they can't gain life off of Vanity. And they can't call anymore after loyalty, so... Rot roll. Yeah. Um, Dragon World Garga. Um, actually, they, because they require cards in hand, I Dimension Jamming them, and this. So that's a discard four. Yeah. He couldn't cope, essentially, is what happened there. Uh, a discard four was, you drawn to bonkers. Uh, battle building... Uh, Battle Bullying, I just think, has a naturally relatively bad matchup against uh, Vanity Husk. What's about, I'm assuming. Uh, it has an amazing consistency engine to get into Lost World in the first place, which is the whole reason behind the deck is just Lost World wins you games, and I thought, what's the best way to get to Lost World? Play Dimension Dragons. Um, it worked, apparently. Evidently, evidently. yeah. Uh, so... Vanity Husk itself is just a broken, broken card. Um, it never should have been. It never should have existed, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm going to take full advantage while it does. Next up was uh, Folktale um, Loyalty. Yeah. Uh, I won game one. Uh, uh, yeah, I won game one without loyalty. So I wasn't scared when I went into game two with loyalty. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so what I will say is the cards that I sided out. That's actually something I want to know. Uh, depending on the matchup. So Link Dragon Order, I sided out uh, Blue Dragon, uh, the Gambit, and a Limargia Lyma for yeah. three loyalty. Makes sense. So you will notice that when I go through this deck list, most of my side deck stuff is going to be uh, for three loyalty. Apart from round two, where I played Garga, uh, I sided the same three cards, I sided them out for uh, Skillbinders. Because I thought that was more useful when I was going to go quite aggro. So yeah. Uh, battle building. I don't think I actually sided in anything uh, I think I said in the, the the third blue dragon shield for I assume would be Gambit because Gambit was the first thing that came out because it's just a bonus like if it works it works if it doesn't it can get sided out uh, so folktale was when we saw this three come out for loyalties um, so every round that I played against the folktale match you'll find it very soon it was a lot these were the three cards that came out for loyalty because evidently these are not very useful and yeah like I don't need this anymore so one of the matches I was playing um, I had zero gauge and I called this mm. had Lost World in hand which immediately if they don't kill it I get into Lost World so it's not 100% useful but it came in clutch when I needed it to. So round four, folktale. Round five, folktale. 
Round six, I lost to Obstruct slash Matt. Shout out to Thujo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um, so I, I think game one, I managed to resolve Agonia and Ur, Ur, and then that was it. And then he obst- like then he just obstructed everything I did after that because these suction's a thing which can't do anything. Yeah. Can gain life. Yeah, I gained that one life and then died <laughs> next turn. Uh, so I died to obstruct. So that's a big point in the deck of you'll see there's no obstructing either the side or the main. And that's because I require my draw engine far too much for me to play obstruct in the main or side because I want to draw essentially my deck. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, round seven. Folktail. Again. Uh Bye. Hi. Hi. Um, top eight. Against the same folktale player that I played the last round in round seven. Hi. Bye. Uh, like I, I knew exactly what he was playing because I'd just played him. Uh, so I knew his deck list. I knew that as soon as I got into Vanity Husk, he had no out, essentially, because I was just going to keep dropping his item. Mm-hmm. Uh, round top four, I I lost to Electro De Lost World. Um, my side deck doesn't have very much for that. If I'm honest, it has the skill binders, which I assume came out for a gambit, um, a blue dragon shield, and maybe a Lemargia for a uh, skill binder, so that I could rest the Susan. Or Susan O to those that The Uncultured. Yeah. Um so that game I lost to Spell Nulls because Sakura Fabuki is broken. Because... Hit on barn last, please. So attempt attempt to cast D Suction. No. Attempt to cast D Scapegoat. No. Um I cannot play after that. Yeah. Um third place playoff, I played against Matt again. Um I went really nutty game one and just essentially drew my Lost World deck. Uh, lost game two. Um, he obstructed me that game. I lost. Uh, third round or third match. Um, he didn't have obstruct and I went nutty and yeah, you get the gist. It goes into Lost World and it does things. So, questions that I have been asked get the wee notepad out oh, Christ almighty. so I've answered what my matchups were um, it was a lot of folktale it was a lot 3 in top 8 yeah 3 in question vanity that I acquired during the event which is why it's oh. not in the deck right roll um, for m- me to play against I was quite happily playing against folktale all day long Mm-hmm. I own the deck and I know exactly how to play against it and I know exactly how to play like I, if I end the battle phase they can't do anything because they then can't attack um, if I have two redirectors and an attack I know they don't have a spell now oh god uh, so this was just broken because yeah like the aim is to stop Emma going off a lot so I think they resolved Emma maybe twice or three times, and that was it. Because I had machining sacrifice to get rid of stuff, etc., etc. Um, yeah. So my favorite matchup, um, or my favorite match, was I, d- I don't know, uh, probably third and fourth place playoff because I got to get my revenge. I don't know. I mean, you should at least have some fun. Yeah, in it the, was enjoyable. In the third place playoff. Right. Yeah, I'd, like, I don't really have a favourite matchup. I didn't play against anyone I knew, really, apart from in top eight, which then becomes a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the spicy text that I have, I've shown you, um, was mainly a, f- a mixture of machining sacrifice and a bit of gambit. 
had I known about force return, being a card, being a card, and being in Dragon World, yeah, it probably would have been in. Uh, so return all monsters on your field, and you gain one life. It's essentially the same as Gambit, except you gain a life. And it's not at one. It's not at one, but it can only be used once per turn. So yeah, um, favorite card to see in the Lost and the main deck. Um, <laughs> in both. <laughs> so, s monster spell. Uh, yeah. Probably the favorite card to see in the Lost deck was probably uh, Dimension Revive. So I could Dimension Revive re Revive this. Um, because five crits beefy, I guess. Um. Like the Lost Deck's kind of it. It has thirty cards in it, so it really is. You draw into it quite quickly, especially when mm. your deck is built around drawing. Drawing. So that's what Desuction into Agonia does. It can search you six cards through your Lost World deck. Yeah. Which is a fifth. I, what more do you want? <laughs> yeah. I, to be fair, I dropped Husk and then Dimension Reaper. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before as well. Yeah. Because I'm a horrible person. Uh, so, anything I wish I played, uh, insert Force Return. Uh, uh, insert Dragonic Charge instead of probably the Drago Chaps for the God Punk Mirror. Uh, God Punk Mirror. I keep saying Mirror. I don't know why. For the God Punk match because. Um, Is that the Gauge 2? Yeah, Counter Gauge 2. Yeah. yeah. So, it allows you to go into Lost World. Um, you do it on the end of your opponent's turn. They can't. They can't plunder it away or drop it or anything. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, tips for people picking up the deck. Um, Do you have an answer? Yeah. I know. A, a, vague, a vague answer. Um, so, one way that I learnt to play the deck was essentially playtesting it. Um, but Knowing what to take is probably the hardest bit off of Agonia. Yeah. So, how I ended, or how I wanted to end every single turn, no matter what it was, was with a mixture of this, or a machining sacrifice. So, this meant that four attacks, essentially, or five attacks, however you want to phrase it, were all going to disappear so that I could just go straight into Lost World. Um, like, this is hands down, like, the second best card behind Agonia. Oh, yeah. Because Agonia just, it becomes nuts when you can resolve it so many times within each turn because of Machining Sacrifice. Um, like there's not very many tips or anything it's more of just um play play test the deck a lot um that's what i did and play test it against different things yeah so within our little team not so little anymore um, it's, it's it's becoming beefy yeah <laughs> we all we own every deck so the only deck that I didn't play test against was Electro D E Lost. Because I'm the one that owns it and the one that knows how to play it. So I can then not play Dimension Dragons. <laughs> oh, also the point of you were considering playing it until literally the night of the event. Yeah, I guess so. So kind of like you can ask me more specific questions about that because I can't think of any form of like there's no tips or anything like the deck kind of plays itself. That's that's very autopilot to be fair. Um, I wouldn't call it autopilot. I would call it uh, self-explanatory when you see the cards. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because there's so many little interactions within the deck that it really does become very sort of technical, but. Your your whole purpose is to get into Lost World and win off of Vanity Husk. Essentially, yeah. 
So that's what the whole deck is built around. It's built into the round, turboing into that. And there's not really another way to phrase it, if I'm honest. That's what the deck does. It turbos into a Lost World to play into Vanny Husk. Yeah. Um, I've explained that. So mainly, the most of the reasons why I played things at the ratio that I did... If it, like, I think there was only, what, two, four of monsters? Three. No, th no, it was four, actually. I actually forgot that the size ones were a thing. And the gain. And the gain. Yeah. Um, so, these are all your kind of monsters that you want to see in Dimension Dragons, mm. whereas the rest is kind of... You don't mind them, but you want Arl for Lost World, and you don't want to see too many Odeo, because yeah. you're going to then have to pay too much life to sack stuff, and might not get the benefit of just the one-off search. Mm. I quite like seeing Ayer as well, to be fair. Ayer, yeah, like, it's okay. It's The turn one pressure is very interesting, because... It adds you two cards to hand that you never had. So you went from like a six card hand to an eight card hand for free, essentially. Mm, yeah. Um like if you talk about the lost deck, I think the main deck kind of explains itself because there's so little cards for Dimension Dragons to pick from that is working at what ratios to play things at. Yeah, because we've obviously got a very limited card pool. Due to the fact that we didn't get a hundred gen pack when yeah. we should have. So why I played Lost World things at stuff. I think these are probably the ones that surprise people the most. I think like I guess you could argue everything should be higher up, but this is there for the burn and people don't expect it because they see the Dimension Absorbs, which are obviously is the four of, that I hands down would not change and would happily keep it four for the rest of the time that Dimension Dragons is a thing. Uh, Dimension Revive. The reason it's at three is because four in a 30 card deck is very, very cloggy when it's especially once per turn. Mm. Which is the other reason that this is here because it's also once per turn. So, on that argument, I'll put these in. So, Dimension Draw is obviously once per turn, mm -hmm. but you want to see it, so that's why it's at two. Uh -huh. And the same for Jamming. So, the reason Jamming is here at two is it's a counter. So, no matter what, when I draw for Lost World, if I draw into two of these, I can play both of them. One on my turn and then one on my opponent's turn. That's the whole that's the reason behind why there's one of this and two of these. Like if that was a counter? If this was a counter, it would hands down be the best spell in uh Lost World. Yeah. I, I there's no argument about it. So the the four ofs are obviously very self-explanatory. And this being at three is purely because it can be destroyed. So that's arrogant delusion. Yeah. If it couldn't be destroyed, it has to be at four and this would be at three. Mm, I agree. But we're we're not gonna talk about that because Sorry. that that gets into kind of a disgusting format. We'll get we'll get to uh, we'll get to tea coating soon and then then we can have fun. Uh, I think vanity cells, the item and the impact are all very self explanatory. Because the reason your item is at two is because the one that you have in the main deck, it's still very useful. Oh. Because it restands stuff, so there's a like a five draw combo with arrogant delusion. Um yeah. Impact is impact. To be fair, even playing at two, I saw it Yeah. In the majority of my games. So Easiest matchup, uh, was probably Link Dragon Order. 
So I'm talking about this in in, ge- in a general sense, I guess it is. If you're talking, if I'm talking about what I played, the easiest matchup that I played was probably, um, Folktale because I I knew how to control the deck and I knew exactly what it did, mm-hmm. so I didn't need to think much. I just need to think about what I was drawing and whatnot. Makes sense. So then, the most difficult matchup that I played was Matt because, obviously, you're fe- you're feared of the FTK and. There's no other, like, you can't do anything about it, which is why I played the Blue Dragon Shields at two, and why I sided the third one. Question, do you think that impact will be errated at any point? Mm, or I, should it be errated? It should be. Do I think it will be? No. No. I don't think so. Um, I guess it could be, but I doubt it very, very highly. We discussed in the airport about how you could errata it to make it. Shove a brave machine name on it. Yeah. Make it brave machine specific, and it's fine. Yeah. Um. So in general, the most difficult matchup for this deck is Godpunk because it steals my gauge, so I can't Lost World. Yeah. Um. You just got very, very freaking lucky and didn't see it. Yeah, pretty much. I saw it twice all day for context. I did not see it once. I know that one of the other guys that were playing it, he saw it three times. Legitimately, yeah. yeah. I'm assuming one was. Did you see Kieran? Yeah. 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 He was fantastic, by the way, shout out <laughs> So, next up is why Dimension Dragons over other meta such as Electro Deity Lost and Matt? Both of which I own. Um, honestly, it's quite simple for me. So, Matt was boring. Yep. And then I cut that out, so it was Electro DE versus Dimension Dragons. Mm-hmm. I went in with the intention of I wanted to play Dimension Dragons. Um, I wanted to have fun. I didn't think the deck would do as well as it did, if I'm honest. But here we are. Uh, that's pretty much the reason is I wanted to enjoy myself and I thought that the deck to do that for me would be Dimension Dragons in retrospect I would have played Electro DE if I wanted to go full on meta but I wanted to represent the one dragon deck I've actually enjoyed ever so uh, how how is is there any consistency issues and how many how often did I go into Lost World? <laughs> so the second question is very simple and it is every single game. Uh, consistency issues. Consistency though. issues. No. Um, no, because this fixes things. This fixes things, and this is just bogger. Good. Um, I didn't find anything wrong with the deck whatsoever. Um, would I happily play it again? 100%. Like, if I'm honest, there's not any changes that I would make. Until 100 yen? Un- until 100 yen, but... Um, and maybe... Like, like if the map, meta, if the map wasn't meta, this wouldn't be in the main deck. What would you play instead of it? Well, uh, there'd be one force return added in. Mm-hmm. And I guess another D scapegoat or a lost of D. Yeah. Uh, like Matt won't if Matt's never a thing, Blue Dragon Shield won't ever see play. I'd, yeah. So I've explained why I've played most of the cards in the lost deck, which is one of the questions that is near the end. And then the last question is is there any budget options for no secret pack? So, oh, that's a um, that's an interesting one. So we'll get secret pack cards out. So obviously, I don't actually own any secret pack cards, uh, any secret pack vanity husk. So I believe this is the only secret pack stuff that I picked up that I actually played in the deck. 
because the other two cards are what Dimension Razor and the Lost World flag, yeah. Yeah. So obviously I played the Lost World flag, but that's accessible from the trial deck and from an Atria. Atria. Yeah. So essentially, this is a rare in the set, so that can get cut out. Mm -hmm. And it just basically comes down to these. And it comes down to these two. Is there a legitimate replacement for Vanity Husk? No. No. Um. Is there acceptable replacements? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Uh, same goes for the weapon. Uh, you what don't is... need to play the weapon. Um, you could just play the five crit penetrator weapon if you're playing pure dimension dragons. Anyway, is that the trial deck? Trial deck one. Done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm with you. So, so, like a card that I would say. If I'm just thinking budget, so if you're just say you're buying trial decks and you've managed to pick up some set stuff, yeah, yeah, you'd go into the card you're about to show, which is I still want to play it because I can think it's hilarious. So I think this is a very valid. Um, a lot of people at Hudders were actually playing it. Yeah, but I think that's because they never had Vanity Husk. Yeah. Uh, so this is probably the. What I would say is the next best option behind Vanity Husk as a monster, anyway. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Um, so what it does is pay a gauge. Uh, when it enters, nullify all abilities of a card in your opponent's field and destroy it. It has built-in double attack and it's ten to ten. Um, like there's no other way around it. It's pretty good. Solid. So that's what if I was building budget would be the replacement. If I'm honest, there's no replacement for this. Nope. Uh, it's a triple R in the set, so it's not terrible to get a hold of. So like $15? I believe it's still sitting at that. Yeah. Uh, so, trial deck, so relatively easy to acquire. Yep. You get, what, a triple R and a play set of commons in the trial deck, I believe. So, you're looking at, these are the triple R's from the set. Uh, double R's from the set. You also have the double R monster, I believe. You know yeah, but I don't play it. Yeah. Um, so these are set stuff. Um, well, this is this is in the set as well, but it's a rare, so that's a common. So I'll take them out of the equation. They're mm. pretty simple. Um, so these are sitting all roughly around, say, $15, $10. All relatively expensive. Um... I would say this doesn't have a, re a hands down replacement, but you can just shove in Dimension Mirrors instead of the Dimension Absorbs, and it works. It does the same job. It burns your opponent, although you don't heal. Yeah. But if you're playing maybe against an opposing Vanity Husk, you're not going to heal that life anyway. So, that's a fairly budget swap. And then Dimension Draw. And then Dimension Draw, I'm only playing it at 2 in the first place, so it shouldn't be the hardest thing to get a hold of. No. Um, like, it's good. Is it needed? No. Does the 100 yen pack card that's essentially that but better replace it? Probably. Mm, maybe not. You know the one I mean? Gauge 2, gain 2 life, yeah. card, yeah. I just prefer. Right. That doesn't require any loss faders on field, I suppose yeah. is the argument. So, things that don't have replacements in my eyes are, is, is this. Yeah. Like, if you want to be proper, this doesn't have a hands down replacement either, which is the Vanity Husk. Mm -hmm. It's a great, like, like, they're good cards and it's. Like, Bushy Road kind of messed up in how they printed all this. But we should have had the five triple R's and the seven double R's again. We would have made things so much better. But And Husk is the Ace And Husk is the Ace Uh Hands down, that would have made every deck so much better. Because they all would have had access to easy Husks. Mm -hmm. Although, granted, the Lost World Flag Venom would have been a slightly harder to acquire. Unless you'd pre-prepared and bought trial decks unless you bought the trial decks but again who wants to play commons true 
I don't play any commons in any of my decks that play lost now. I've either all got eight, I've got all eight, all ace rares. Uh, so trial deck, trial deck, trial deck, trial deck. Um, by one, I think you get four of this. Mm -hmm. Two or three of this, one and one. So these are the one of so two trial decks, and you're pretty much set. And these will may or may not be shiny. True. <laughs> I don't even have an, a common one to show you. Mine is probably in my deck box somewhere, but I can't bother. Essentially, that's the last question. No secret pack. Lost World can be done. I know there was people at the event that didn't have full deck mm. or the full. I think there was what Simon. I know Simon had the full deck. Me and you. We had the full deck. Christian? I think Christian had the full deck. Um, yeah. Like, hands down, it's been one of it was one of the most fun decks to play because it just turboed into Lost World and won from there. Mm. You didn't require the like. I never went to time once, which was great feeling. Mm. That never happened in Cardiff when I played Solitaire. Solitaire with Chaos. I went. Let me think about this. God Punk. Yeah, Round Punk. 2. I went a time. Oh, because that size 3 is just nippy. Electro D. Electro, Electro D. I went to time and it was decided on a dice roll because we didn't want a double game loss, which is a perfectly fair yeah. reason to do that. Eh. Uh, I think that was it. I didn't go in at a time again. I didn't go in at a time against here, and that was the only other match that I could have possibly went in at a time. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, yeah, you kind of forgot about that, didn't you? Yeah. It's, it's pretty. It's nice. Yeah. Anyway. Um, at 56 minutes and 52 I pretty, seconds. I was pretty accurate on my <laughs> time that I was going to spend talking rubbish. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stuck through it all. If I, if you did, I'm very impressed. And leave a like if you did. <laughs> yeah, like, if there's any questions that you want answered, feel free to shove them down in the comments or message me on Facebook because you know it's, it's going to get posted on a few of the groups. So, mm. until next time on the Reboot.